Hi guys. In this week's edition of Dave 101, we're gonna be talking about a lease versus buy of a car. Now there's a lot of factors that go into this, so I weight them differently than you might, so take it all with a grain of salt. Make your own decision at the end of the day. Don't yell at me if you do something and then don't like it. But the biggest factor that I look into when it comes to leasing or buying a car, and I've run tons of numbers, tons, tons of spreadsheets, and what it comes down to is the duration of how long you're gonna keep the vehicle that you buy. Now, if you buy a brand new car off the lot, it's gonna depreciate the second you drive it off the lot. So it's important that if you do buy that brand new car, that you need to drive it for 10 years. I kind of have like a 10 year rule because you're most likely gonna pay it off over five years. You definitely should pay it off over five years because you're gonna, get like a really low interest rate. Some companies are even doing a 0% or 1%. So that way it take you get to pay it off over, over five years and not pay any interest on it, which is huge. But then once you're car payment free after year five, it's important that you have to continue to drive the car for an, another five years and hope that your maintenance cost is super low on it because that's where it'll get you. If, if you're driving it a ton and putting tens of thousands of miles on it a year, you're gonna have to start replacing not only tires and brakes, which you have to do anyway, but you're gonna have to start doing tie rods, suspension, stuff that starts costing thousands and thousands of dollars where all of a sudden, if you look back, you're now spending three, $4,000 a year redoing your entire car that that could be going towards a brand new car payment on the lease side. So if you wanna make sure that you have no strings attached, attached, you're not gonna pay for anything other than an oil change, you lease a car. So for three years, you know exactly what you're gonna pay. You're not building any equity in that car. Once the three years are up, you can buy it for an agreed upon purchase price that you set the day you leased it on day one or you turn it in, upgrade to the newest car three years later. We all know how fast technology changes. So even after a couple of years, your car's outdated of new technology. It'll, we're all gonna be driving ourselves before too long here. But I think that's the biggest factor when it comes to lease versus buy. So if you plan on keeping the car for a, a long time, and you're not gonna put a crazy amount of miles on it, I would go for the purchase side of things. If you're comfortable driving a car for 10 years, and then it'll have a little residual value in it, but not a ton. And then the other side of it is, uh, we're actually going through this right now, that our second car, um, the lease is running up, so we're trying to decide what to do next. If it comes down to either leasing a new car or the second car we're gonna have, we're not gonna put a ton of mileage on it, so we might buy a used car that someone else has already driven 20, 30,000 miles and taken that big chunk of the depreciation where the value went down like 20, 30%. And then you can buy a car with even a little more bells and whistles at a discount and then put a few miles on it on an annual basis. So when it comes down to leasing versus buying a car, I think again, the biggest factors to recap what I discussed is just if you're gonna purchase a car, whether it's brand new or used with a few miles on it, it's important that you still drive it for a long period of time so you can amortize that cost so that once your car payment free, you're able to gain that money back because you purchased the car. Where a lease, you're definitely paying a premium to have that option after three years to just wipe your hands clean and walk away, but you're also not gonna have any additional costs um, outside of an oil change because everything's gonna be under warranty in those first couple of years. So that's my two cents. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. I'm always here, ready to help. This is Dave. 101.